Hey, this is Mark Moore, a.k.a. Tuxedo Mark, various places on the internet. It's 12.08 p.m. according to a computer clock on Friday, October 24, 2014. And uh, I just read an article last night that just blew my mind. Uh, first of all, apparently CBS is going to be airing a Supergirl live-action TV series. Yeah, it's... It's actually going to be called Supergirl, and um, apparently some working titles from what I read in the Wikipedia article before CBS got it were either Super or Girl, which are stupid, especially the latter one. But anyway, so this series, as far as I can tell, won't have anything to do with Smallville, no connection or anything like that probably won't have anything to do with Arrow or the Flash either, even though uh, one of the guys behind Arrow and Flash are, is in charge of uh, developing Supergirl as well. Um, simply because it's on CBS instead of the WB. Or, uh, sorry, the CW. <laughs> WB, jeez. Um, but anyway... Uh, his background also includes Everwood, which I watched and I thought it was a great show, and um, Dawson's Creek, which I didn't watch. But anyway, so Supergirl, and apparently for, from what I read on Wikipedia, it's going to follow a 24-year-old Cara zor as she starts being more open and accepting of her powers, whereas up until this point she's kept them hidden so that that's interesting um there's no real details at all i mean right now it's just the pilot and development there's no casting as of yet or anything like that but as a huge supergirl fan I'm really looking forward to this. We've never had a live-action Supergirl TV series before. I mean, yeah, we've had Kara zor a.k.a. Supergirl, on Smallville, which was interesting when she debuted, but then they quickly botched her up, especially that next-to-last episode of the series. God, I hated that. Anyway, um... So yeah, I'm looking forward to Supergirl. Um, Also, these two series are presumably both coming next year, but also, being uh, produced by the same guy, uh, and I forget his name at the moment, sorry, but anyway, he, uh, okay, Archie Comics is finally doing a live-action TV series. Archie has had a terrible history of trying to, you know, get adaptations done. Just at all, seriously. I mean, there was that radio drama that aired back in the 40s. There were the various string of filmation cartoons that ran from, that ran in the 70s, basically. I forget the exact era. They had that uh, New Archie's TV series that ran for 13 episodes in 1987 and then came back as repeats in 1989 for whatever reason. Uh, There was an NBC movie of the week, Archie to Riverdale and back again. That aired in May of 1990 kind of seen as a backdoor pilot for a possible TV series that never happened, but followed the gang attending their 15 year high school reunion so they're in their 30s and it was okay, it's just not great by any stretch of the imagination um yeah And then Archie released it on home video as Archie returned to Riverdale and they cut out a bunch of scenes, mostly the flashbacks where the 30-something actors were trying to play themselves as high school students, but anyway. Um, 
What else? Probably the most successful Archie product, uh, and I'll get into the other things, but um, the most successful Archie product, I think, in terms of, you know, Archie, the, Ar the main Archie Riverdale characters themselves, was Archie's Weird Mysteries. It was a 40 episode cartoon series that ran on PAX. You know, remember PAX? I didn't have PAX. I, I didn't catch the series until, you know, later on. I think the last time that it aired was in 2007, but at, at least around here. It, it might be back on a cable channel now, I don't know, but. Yeah, uh, Archie's Weird Mysteries. It, it, it was pretty faithful to the comics. I mean, it had a, a slant, like a weirdness slant. Like strange things are happening in Re in Riverdale, like supernatural stuff. And Archie's got a column in the high school newspaper, and he writes about this. And he and the rest of the gang investigate these things. It was, it was actually kind of neat. Um, I've got the DVD set, even though the compression is atrocious on it. <sighs> anyway. Um, uh, other Archie property related stuff, uh, 1960s or 70s Sabrina cartoons, 1970s Josie cartoons, Josie and the Pussycats. Then there was the 90s live action series, Sabrina st series starring Melissa Joan Hart. And then a spin off like a prequel starring her younger sister, an animated spin-off Sabrina the Animated Series, followed by like a sequel called Sabrina's Secret Life. Um, 2001 Josie and the Pussycats live action movie starring Rachel Lee Cook. I love that. I freaking love the Josie movie. It's so clever. It's a satire of like pop culture and the music industry. Um, Anyway, that's been about it. I mean, ever since John Goldwater, that's J-O-N, um, the current co-CEO came on a few years ago, he was talking about trying to get, you know, new television, television stuff done. I mean, Archie's been trying to do a live-action TV series for a few years. There, there was, uh, there, there's some rumblings about it in the comics like in the middle of the previous decade I think and then nothing came of it um there have been rumblings of a live action Archie movie forever like back in the 90's rumor was Sha uh, Shannon Doherty was playing Veronica remember that that never happened um rumor of a live action Betty and Veronica movie, and supposedly one of, uh, like the granddaughter of one of the previous CEOs had read, or I guess, yeah, yeah, the granddaughter, she had read a script for the Betty and Veronica movie that was at her grandfather's house, and she thought it was neat. That never happened. Then they were talking about, like, Pairing up with uh, Warner Brothers to do a live-action Archie movie. Now this, apparently, is the basis for this TV series. This movie concept, they were going to do the movie, and then they realized they had so many story ideas that they could tell with these characters. They decided to do, instead of a big-budget extravaganza you know movie they were going to do a smaller scale long form TV series I guess it's gonna be like an hour-long drama it's gonna be called Riverdale and it's coming to Fox uh, Fox has from what I read apparently it has like uh, some kind of penalty clause where if they pass on it I guess they can be penalized so that increases the chances that this will actually get on TV course knowing Fox they'll probably cancel it after one season but anyway uh, so it's called Riverdale not Riverdale High not Archie or anything like that it's going to be about the town as a whole there's going to be plenty of things to explore they're going to explore things with many different characters 
Betty and Veronica meet for the first time in the pilot episode, so it's going to be very much an origin type of story. It's going to be how about all, all these different uh, kids from different social circles come together and, you know, become best friends. So, if it's going to be like that, uh, presumably they're going to start them off in high school, presumably freshman year. I would think that the longest that they could get out of this series would be four seasons. Maybe. Um, we'll see. They're going to probably explore the pasts of some of the parents because um, apparently the parents are going to play a big part in this too. And there's going to be a history between Archie's dad and Betty and Veronica's moms. Like, they all went to high school together. Which I guess that means that they're uh, de-aging Veronica's parents because of the comics. Both of her parents have gray hair and they're obviously older than the other kids' parents. But anyway, um, so yeah, uh, they described it as like Archie Comics meets David Lynch. Yeah, I think that was the, that was the, yeah, that, it was Archie meets David Lynch. David Lynch, uh, the creator of Twin Peaks, which I never really watched except I think for the first episode. But basically, basically there's going to be an undertone of darkness and weirdness and, um, surrealistic plot twists so it's gonna it's gonna explore stuff that happens like between the panels of the comic stories like it's gonna take things that are hinted at and kind of you know really explore stuff and Cheryl Blossom's gonna be in it <laughs> Cheryl has never uh, had a um, a live action or animated adaptation. Uh, I love Cheryl. She's one. She's one of my favorite characters. Um, but yeah, I am really looking forward to this. Um, and with that said, I have no idea about the casting. No idea about anything else except we're getting a live action Archie Comics TV series. Okay, um, I'm going to end this video uh, now, I guess. Um, it's 12.21 p.m., and that's it. Thanks for watching.